Welcome back to Excel HQ, everyone, and let's get right to it. The functions we will be going over today are AND, OR, AND, NOT. Now, these are logical operators, and I will be explaining them with these tables shortly. However, if you already know what these are, just skip ahead. There will be timestamps in the video. Now, what is AND? AND basically can check whether conditions are true or false. False is represented by zero, true is represented by a one. These are binary conditions. It can only be one or the other. Now for an AND statement, if for example, X, this first condition is false and the second condition is false, it will end up being false. If the first condition is false, the second condition is true, it is false and vice versa. Again, if the first condition is true, the second condition is false, it's false. The only way AND will ever be true or ever return a value is if both conditions are true, which ends up giving you true. Now, for the OR operator, it works the opposite way kind of of AND, as in if it's one or the other, it's okay, as long as it's one or the other. It's still, if both are false, it will end up false. However, if one is true, it lets it buy and it says it's true. If the first one's true, the second one's not true, true. And if they both end up being true, the ultimate result will be true. Now the not operator represented by this table here, it just gives you the opposite of what you think you'd get, what you were gonna get. If you said six is bigger than five, for example, which is true, it will return false. And you'll see with these examples over here, what I mean. So using the equals not operator if you take a cell say five and say five is bigger than six which is not by the way for anybody who doesn't know it will return true now if you say equals not open that bracket up five is bigger than four it is bigger than four however you're going to get false and that's what the not function does now the and function if you do equals and and five is bigger than four, comma for your second logical uh, expression. And then you go again, five is bigger than three. Well, five is bigger than four and five is bigger than three. So it's true. However, if one of them are wrong, five is bigger than four, five is bigger than six, you're gonna end up with false, even if the expressions were switched. Now with or, this is where the main difference of and comes in. If you equals or, open up that bracket, five is bigger than six, or five is bigger than four. Because one of them is true, even though the other is not, it's gonna end up being true. And just for one double false example, if you do equals or, open the bracket up, and do five is bigger than six, and then five is bigger than seven, you're gonna get false. Now, I would like to reiterate that you make sure you understand these and, or, and not functions, as you use them a lot with if statements, and if statements are a huge part of Excel. So watch the video back again if you didn't understand the first time, or comment down below, and I can clear up any confusion you may have. 